we just found an alien object in our solar system, and it's pointing right at Earth. It's not a comet. It's not natural. It's something we've never seen before. This thing is moving on purpose, controlling its path, and staying close to us. It's absorbing solar energy in ways scientists say are impossible, and it's sending a message directly to our planet like it knows we're here. We have no idea what it wants, but we have to find out. Wait until you see what happens next. It's going to blow your mind like nothing you've ever seen. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. What if I told you that? As one of the world's leading physicists, I have to admit we were completely wrong about something flying through our solar system right now. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. It may be the biggest scientific mistake of my career. When 3i Atlas was first discovered, we all thought it was just another interstellar comet, a harmless ball of ice and dust drifting between the stars. NASA's early data seemed to confirm that story perfectly. A bright tail, minor gas release, a classic hyperbolic orbit, nothing unusual. Or so we thought. No, but as the months went by, the evidence began to twist into something far stranger. The more data we collected, the less sense it made. 3i Atlas started breaking the rules of nature. It didn't behave like a comet, it didn't move like an asteroid, and it certainly didn't look like anything we've ever seen before. You know, astronomers around the world began noticing strange inconsistencies, tiny shifts in light reflection, sudden bursts of heat, mysterious fluctuations in its speed that no natural explanation could account for. You know, this isn't just a minor error in calculation, this is the kind of discovery that forth forces us to rewrite the textbooks. Every assumption we made about this object has fallen apart. The question is no longer what it's made of, but who or what made it behave this way, you know? And as I've told my colleagues, we are standing at the edge of something we do not yet understand. And that's both exciting and terrifying, you know, because if 3i Atlas isn't a natural visitor, then it means something or someone out there sent it here on purpose. At first glance, it looked harmless, a glowing traveler from deep space. Drifting gracefully toward the sun, NASA labeled it a hyperbolic comet, just as they once did with Oumuamua. Everything seemed routine, but then the data started fighting back, you know, telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and Spain started sending conflicting reports the light signature didn't behave like frozen ice reflecting sunlight. It pulsed, almost like a signal, and that supposed coma, the bright halo we expect around comets, wasn't gas or dust at all. It was perfectly symmetrical, holding its shape as if it were stabilized. You know, real comets are messy, chaotic, unpredictable. They spin, they tumble, they melt away under the sun's heat. But 3i Atlas didn't melt. It didn't spin out of control. Instead, it held a steady orientation, almost as if it was aiming itself. You know, astronomers tried to rationalize it. Maybe its composition was unusual, frozen carbon dioxide, metallic dust, something exotic. But then came the biggest red flag. It wasn't outgassing, no jets of vapor, no sublimation no tails forming, you know. It, 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 in fact, its brightness wasn't um, natural uh, at all. Instruments detected an artificial spectrum, uh, a controlled emission, not sunlight bouncing off rock or ice. And that's when I realized we might not be studying a piece of debris, but a piece of technology. This isn't behaving like a comet that stumbled into our solar system, it's behaving like a visitor that chose to be here. You know, if that's true, every assumption about 3 Atlas being just a wandering rock has officially collapsed, you know? Then came the moment that made every scientist stop breathing. You know, 
As 3i Atlas approached its closest point to the sun, something impossible happened. It slowed down. Not because of gravity, not because of drag, but by its own command, the data was unmistakable. Instead of accelerating, as every object in space naturally does near the sun, 3i Atlas hit the brakes. It's as if something inside it said, we've reached our target, reduce speed now, you know. NASA's tracking systems confirmed it, a steady, deliberate deceleration, no natural object could do this, radiation pressure couldn't explain it, solar wind, magnetic drag, outgassing, none of it added up, the trajectory changed smoothly, not chaotically, as if guided by a system with incredible precision, even more disturbing, the slowdown happened at a perfect distance, where solar energy would be ideal for collection or recharging, Telescopes detected a faint glow, not heat, but an infrared signature consistent with energy absorption. 3i Atlas wasn't losing energy like a comet. It was gaining it. Now, I describe it as controlled propulsion without visible exhaust. It's like a light sail, the theoretical spacecraft powered by sunlight, except this one is operating far beyond anything our technology could achieve. At first, some scientists thought it might be a coincidence, but when we plotted the data frame by frame, the path was too perfect. Every curve, every vector aligned with mathematical intent. It didn't just react to, to physics. It used physics, and I remember pausing, quietly telling my colleagues, that's when we realized this thing is not following the laws of motion. It's rewriting them, you know, whatever 3i atlas is. It's moving like it knows exactly what it's doing. You know, just when we thought it couldn't get stranger, it did. Now, after its mysterious deceleration, the European Space Agency redirected one of its Mars orbiters to take high-resolution scans as it passed near the planet's orbit, and what those images revealed sent shockwaves through the entire astronomical community. You know, 3i Atlas wasn't a random chunk of rock, it had structure, you know. I describe the surface as a patchwork of deliberate design. Um, the photos showed a repeating network of hexagonal panels and perfect circular formations, each aligned with mathematical precision. No mountain ridges, no impact craters, no erosion, just symmetry, the kind of symmetry you'd expect from something built. Not born, how geologists tried to explain it. Maybe crystalline formations, maybe an exotic mineral response to cosmic radiation. But the geometry was too clean. Even computer models of natural processes couldn't recreate what we were seeing. Some panels reflected light in synchronized intervals, like mirrors repositioning themselves, almost as if 3i Atlas was adjusting to our observations. I remember the exact moment I saw the enhanced imagery. You look at it once and you think, okay, that's strange. You look again and your entire idea of what a natural object is begins to collapse. NASA spectrographic data confirmed the nightmare. The surface wasn't consistent with rock or ice. It was composed of carbon-based alloys and unknown composites materials capable of absorbing and dispersing heat far better than anything we've ever engineered. And then there's the shape. From one angle, 3i Atlas looks like an oblong shard, but under infrared mapping, a faint hexagonal lattice appears as if part of the surface is retractable or modular. It's almost like the exterior was designed to transform. I, I put it bluntly, you don't get right angles and repeating hexagons in nature, not on this scale. This thing was built by intelligence. You know, if that's true, then we're not just watching an interstellar object pass through the solar system. We're watching something designed to hide in plain sight. You know, as data from multiple observatories poured in, we finally managed to break down what 3i Atlas was made of and that's when everything we thought we knew about comets disintegrated. You know, the spectrographic analysis came back, and the numbers didn't make sense. 3i Atlas was made of 96% carbon dioxide, and almost no water at all, 
not even a trace. That's impossible for a comet. Every known comet in our solar system contains frozen water. That's what gives them their tails, their outgassing, their glow. But this one, bone dry. You know, I often tell people it's like finding an ocean made of gasoline, but no oxygen to burn it. The chemical ratios inside 3i Atlas broke every model of planetary formation we have. No natural process could create something like this. And even stranger, the carbon wasn't ordinary. It was structured, arranged in patterns almost identical to synthetic graphene, a material we engineer for strength and heat resistance. It's as if the very skin of 3i Atlas was manufactured to survive deep space. Now, when we ran simulations, the results were chilling. At its closest pass to the sun, 3i Atlas absorbed temperatures that should have vaporized it instantly, but instead of disintegrating, it grew brighter, almost as if it was feeding off the solar radiation. That's the moment when the talk of an artificial origin stopped sounding like science fiction and started sounding like reality. Now, the absorption patterns were too selective to be random. It didn't just take in heat, it chose specific wavelengths, particularly in the ultraviolet and infrared range, the same frequencies our own technology uses for power collection and communication. You know, and I said quietly to my team, this isn't ice reflecting sunlight, this is an engineered surface, something designed to gather energy, you know. But that leads to the question none of us wanted to ask out loud, 3i Atlas is harvesting energy. What is it preparing for? Then came the event that turned disbelief into fear, right? During its closest approach to the sun, 3 Atlas didn't burn, break apart, or explode like every comet before it instead. It activated. For nearly 40 minutes, solar observatories recorded a surge of radiation bouncing off its surface, not random but rhythmic, almost like a heartbeat. 3 Atlas was absorbing energy, converting sunlight directly into motion without releasing a single trace of gas or plasma. It was as if the entire object had become one massive solar engine. It was like watching a living machine feed. Its temperature didn't rise. In fact, it stabilized, perfectly balanced, as if some internal system was regulating the heat. Every piece of data pointed to one conclusion. This object was using controlled propulsion, you know, but not propulsion like rockets or jets. There were no exhaust trails, no debris, no sonic signatures. It moved with eerie precision, slowing, pivoting, then reorienting itself with mathematical accuracy. Scientists observed micro-adjustments in real time, course corrections so precise they could only come from active control. You know? And then, almost deliberately, it changed direction. Instead of slingshotting away into interstellar space like any natural comet should, 3i Atlas shifted into a brand new trajectory, one that kept it inside our solar system. Its orbit wasn't natural anymore. It was chosen. You know, I called it the maneuver that broke physics. You know, uh, this object used gravity not as a limitation, but as a tool, bending its path like a pilot threading through invisible currents. It didn't fight the sun's pull. It used it as if it knew exactly what it was doing. Energy readings showed bursts synchronized with every movement. Was pulses of power each time it shifted orientation. It wasn't just absorbing light, it was using it, I know. For the first time, the scientific community stopped calling it a comet, quietly. In internal reports, NASA and ESA researchers began using a new term, controlled object of unknown origin. No? And if that's true, it means 3i Atlas isn't drifting by chance, it's staying here on purpose. You know? Then came the moment that made even the most skeptical scientists fall silent. You know, just days after its strange energy absorption near the sun, 3i Atlas performed a maneuver that defied everything we know about celestial motion. Instead of continuing its escape into deep space, the expected fate of any interstellar object, it slowed down again and gently shifted its course. Its new trajectory wasn't random. 
it entered a stable elliptical orbit, one that keeps it circling the inner solar system, passing near Earth, Venus, and Mars. Again and again. Go. In simple terms, it decided to stay, you know, that was the moment we realized something intelligent might be behind the wheel. Objects don't just decide to stop leaving the solar system. Something or someone made it change direction with intention, you know, self-organizing complexity. Something that doesn't just follow physics, but uses it as part of its thought process, a kind of quantum intelligence, consciousness not contained in a brain, but embedded in materials themselves. You know, I admit all three explanations sound like science fiction, but the data doesn't lie. Three Eye Atlas moves with precision, behaves with purpose, and interacts with energy in a way that implies awareness. You know, you know, we're either witnessing alien engineering, an unknown life form, or something beyond both, an intelligence born from the universe itself. You know? And I'll never forget what I said during that interview. I looked straight into the camera and told the world, you know, whatever it is, it knows we've seen it and it's responding. You know, the question now isn't what 3i Atlas is. The question is, what does it want? Well, then it happened, the moment that changed everything. You know, on the 1st of November, just as 3i Atlas completed another pass through its new orbit, observatories across the world, from the Allen Telescope Array in California to the Parkes Observatory in Australia, picked up something they had never detected before, or in a, a pulse, you know, a clean, repeating radio signal emanated directly from the coordinates of 3i Atlas, not background noise, not cosmic interference, a pure transmission at 1.420 gigahertz, or the hydrogen line, the universal frequency that every astronomer agrees would be the first channel used for interstellar communication. You know? When the data came in, my team and I sat in stunned silence. It wasn't random static. It was structured. It had meaning, you know. The signal repeated every 47 seconds, the same interval that matched 3i Atlas's light fluctuation cycles. When we converted the transmission to binary, it revealed a pattern, a sequence of prime numbers, a mathematical signature, a deliberate choice. Prime numbers don't occur naturally in random cosmic noise. They represent logic. They represent intelligence. You know, SET, I confirmed it independently, ruling out satellites, terrestrial interference, or reflections from any known spacecraft. The source was deep space precise moving in perfect sync with 3i Atlas's trajectory. No, no, then came the breakthrough. Hidden within the signal was a second layer, an encoded waveform containing harmonic frequencies, almost like a musical chord. When we mapped it visually, it formed a geometric spiral, perfectly aligned with the golden ratio, the same pattern we see in DNA galaxies, and even Human art. I remember the moment I saw it, I could barely speak. They didn't just send noise, they sent mathematics. They sent beauty. You know, I believe the message isn't a call, it's an introduction, a cosmic handshake. Something that says, We know you can hear us, we've been listening too. You know, since then, global agencies have gone into silent coordination. coordination. NASA, STIA, CT. NASA, SETI, ESA, even the United Nations, all quietly meeting behind closed doors. Officially, there's no statement. Unofficially, astronomers are calling this the first verified contact signal in human history, you know? And the most haunting part? The signal hasn't stopped. It continues to repeat every 47 seconds, patiently waiting for a reply. You know, I end this statement with a warning, quiet but firm, you know. If they're reaching out, it means they already know we're here. The real question is, what happens when we finally answer back? You know, don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.